distributive property. Distributive property is when you distribute or multiply the number or variable on the outside of the parentheses to everything inside the parentheses. Always remember to pay attention to the sign when using integers. For example, the 3 is the number on the outside of the parentheses, so I want to distribute it to everything inside the parentheses. Distribute means to multiply, so you would do 3 times 7. There is a plus sign in the middle, so we keep the plus sign, and we do 3 times 8. Now let's look at a couple of examples. For our first example, we have negative 6 parentheses 7 plus x. So again, we want to distribute or multiply the number or variable on the outside to everything inside the parentheses. So that would be negative 6 times 7 plus sign in the middle and negative 6 times x. Negative 6 times positive 7 is negative 42 plus negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Since we have a double sign here, plus a negative, I'm going to change this to where it's just one sign, which would be negative 42 minus 6x. Remembering that when you're adding a negative, it's the same thing as subtracting. For our next example, you will notice that the number is on the other side of the parentheses. You solve this the same way we solved the first one. I'm going to distribute or multiply the number on the outside to everything inside the parentheses. It does not matter which order you go. So I'm going to do 6 times x first. There's a subtraction sign in the middle. And then 6 times 4. 6 times x is 6x minus 24. Another example, negative 3 parentheses 2x minus 4. On this one, we have to pay attention to our negative sign and our subtraction sign. So again, we distribute negative 3 times 2x. We have a subtraction sign in the middle. And then negative 3 times 4. Negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Subtraction sign, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Again, we notice that we have a double sign, so subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. So this one will be negative 6x plus 12. Pay attention to the signs here, just like we had on the first one. When you have a double sign, you always want to switch it to only have one sign. Our last example is a little bit different. We have x minus parentheses x plus 3. Whenever you don't have a number or variable, you can imagine that there is a 1 there. So this is like distributing negative 1 to everything to the parentheses. So this x gets brought down. We don't use it yet. Negative 1 times x is going to be negative 1x or just x. And then negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Here you can combine like terms. So x and 1x we can combine. Since there is a subtraction sign or a negative sign in front of the 1x, that's going to be x minus x, which creates a zero pair. So these are going to cancel out. Now we just have plus negative 3 left over, so our final answer here would just be negative 3. So to wrap things up with a review, again, distributive property is when you distribute or multiply the number or the variable on the outside of the parentheses to everything that is inside the parentheses. And always remember to pay attention to the sign if you are using integers.